The following video you're about to see contains massive spoilers for Secret Invasion Episode 1. If you haven't seen it, go back and then check out this video. What is up you guys and welcome back into a new Lightning Bricks video. And today we have my showcase on Episode 1 of Secret Invasion which I think is like a new twist for the MCU. It's a different thing they're doing since we have no Marvel heroes in this show like we had with Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision and Loki. This is this show reminds me of like Criminal Minds and stuff like those spy shows and like police shows. But without a further ado, let me know what you thought of the show in the comments, and let's get on with our showcase. So the first character we have is Everett Ross, who we see running through the streets of Moscow, and he has the guy chasing him. And for him, I used the torso from the Minister of Magic, as well, as well with the head from that as well, to give him that older look. I use some black arms, some tan hands, the legs that come from the Minister of Magic, and then this like hair from Lego City, and then I put a satchel on there to represent his thing he was carrying, and yeah, I know he died and he had a short time in the episode, but I still thought we needed to make him, even though he turned out to be a scroll when he died, so... Let's move on to the next character. The next character we have is Agent Prescott. Not Prescott, like Prescott. Like, I don't, his name's kind of weird, but I don't really know who he is. We just saw him in the beginning of the show, and that's the first time we're seeing him in the MCU. But he was the guy Everett Ross goes to meet and, like, talk about the scrolls with. So I use the torso from Han Solo out of the Carbonite. And then I used these arms from Grip Hook from Harry Potter to just give that nice detailing. And then I use some tan hands, some nice black legs for like black pants or jeans or whatever you want. I use the hair from Young Obi one. It's also come on Captain America from the Helicarrier. It's a pretty used hairpiece, but then I use the head from Thor. If I put the pointer down, you can see on the back his lightning eyes. But if you keep it to the front, I think it makes for an okay look. You can you could do better with the head. I just really didn't know what to use, and I thought this was my best option. Next, we have Maria Hill, and I still can't believe they killed her off in this. She's been there since the Avengers, and it was really sad to see her go in this show. I didn't know they were going to start the show off with a big thing like that. It shows they're not messing around, I guess, in these sh this show. So for her, I use the torso, arms, and hands. I don't know why I said that. I should just say I use the torso. But anyways, I use that from Harry Potter. I use some black legs. The head from Captain Marvel. And then this hair, which I thought looked perfect. Even though other people like to use the hair from the build a minifig section at the Lego store which can also be used on Anakin. But I like this hair better, and this comes from Umbridge or some Lego City sets, just to give her her longer hair in this show. And I think she turned out one of the best characters in this show. Once again, sad to see her go. But next figure. So finally, in the middle of the episode, it feels like, we get Nick Fury, finally, who's, like, the main character of the show. And he was kind of, kind of a difficult one. Well, 
the head I thought was like the m most, like the best head to use for Nick Fury, which is the head from Grief Karga. So you get that uh, nice gray beard Fury has. It's, t you could use like, I don't know, a paint pen or a Sharpie to mess up the one eye, but I didn't want to do that. So I used this headpiece from Nick Fury from the advent calendar to give him that like beanie he had. And I used the torso and legs from Vulture from the 2017 Spider-Man Homecoming sets. And I think that gives him a nice look. And then I just added some black gloves to match. Next figure we have is Taylogs as a human and I use the torso, arms, and legs from Nick Fury from the Helicarrier, um, the No Way Home Mysterio Battle set, um, an Avengers Tower, I think. It's come on multiple places, but I think that looks really good for him. I pop some tan hands on there, and then I use the face from the old Dumbledore minifigure. I think that's what it was from. See, that's the side that Dumbledore's glasses are on. And then I put the hair from the professor from Harry Potter. I think it was like from the astronomy tower set. But I think that makes the look come together for Taylor's. Next up, we see President Ritson walking up the stairs with Rhodey, who it was nice to see one Avenger in this show, even though I know it's not about the Avengers. So I used the torso from Alfred from The Batman set. I think it was The Batcave. And then I put some black arms, because Alfred had white arms. I put some tan hands, black legs, the head from Robert Pattinson's Batman Unmasked. And then I used the hair from the older versions of old Obi-Wan. Which I think made President Ritson look very good. And yeah, I know this isn't a memorable, char memorable character. But we had to build him because he was in the show. Next up we have Rhodey. And I used the torso arms and he, uh, not hands legs from agent colson i use some reddish brown hands the head from brody from endgame infinity war um a bunch of different places but he still has the heads up display but you know what perfectly covers that is this hair piece from one of the doctor who figures or I think it came on Alfred maybe it's come on a lot of places but I think that gives Rhodey that older look he had because he is getting up there because the first time we saw him was in 2008 and yeah he's getting up there so gotta give him that gray hair I hope Don Cheadle's not watching this because yeah, I don't want to offend him or anything, but yeah, that is Rhodey. Next up, we have a new character in this show, Sonia Fallsworth. And she was actually one of the more simpler characters to make. I used the legs, torso flipped around, arms, and hands, all from Professor Umbridge. And you can see the torso there. And I think that makes a really good look for her. Then I used the head from the girl from the Avatar sets. See, you can see that face on the back there. I think that gives her a nice face. And then I used the hair from Maria Hill. Whoops, wrong side. Maria Hill. And I think that's like a really easy way to make this figure. And you'll already need Maria Hill because you need the torso and the legs for another person in this showcase. And yeah, that is Fallsworth. Next up, we have another new character. This is Beto. And he was 
the scroll that showed up he had to show his face and say that he was a scroll and he entered the camp with Gia who drove him to the camp and he's like a newer scroll I guess and I use the head from War Machine from the Iron Man $90 armory set and I thought that made a good face even though he had a beard but he kind of had a beard but I still think this head looks good and then I use some reddish brown hands the torso from Claire Deering with some green arms to match and I know it shows the skin there but there's nothing you can really do and then I use some dark blue legs this headpiece since he's wearing like one I don't know what you call those but he's wearing one of those like pieces or like headgear for like the winter stuff but yeah i use that from lego city one of the arctic sets and i think that gives him a nice look there for beto that brings us to our second to last character which is gia G gia gia i don't really know how you pronounce it but yeah, that is Talos' daughter, which is very cool to see. I use some black legs, the torso, and head from Hermione. And then this hair from Lego City, or Hermione from the Astronomy Tower, or other places. And yeah, we'll get to our final character. And yes, our final character is Gravik. And... This one was a pretty fun one to make, so I used just some dark blue legs, you can get those on a lot of figures. I used the torso from Shang one of the Shang-Chi bad guys that came with the, that came with the uh, car chase set from that movie, that came with Shang-Chi and a couple other figures. And I think that looks good for his um, jacket he was wearing. I gave him the head from Namor, which gave him that angry face, and I used Namor's hands, and then I used the hair from Falcon, from the Captain America Falcon that has that, like, shaved hair along the sides and stuff, and I think that looks good for our number one bad guy in the show, Gravik. And with a further ado... Let's round this showcase out and tell you my final thoughts. And yeah, guys, that was my showcase on Secret Invasion Episode 1. I think it was a really good start to Phase 5 and a really good start for this series because we needed something like without the Avengers, like a spy show like this. And I think I'm really going to enjoy this show. And I hope you guys are too. And come back next Thursday for episode 2 show. Well, um, epi episode 2 showcase might be delayed because I'm out of town that, two that Thursday. So probably next weekend. Probably sometime. Maybe. But yeah, that was episode one showcase. This will be continuing through the whole show. And I'll do an epic finale at a week after the season finale ends. And yeah, we'll do a whole big showcase recapping all the figures I made for each episode. It'll be one big good video. And but yeah. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that. This has been another broadcast from Lightning Bricks. See you guys tomorrow.